Welcome to Indianapolis. Welcome to the State House. And welcome to the wedding of Molly and Elliot. I ask Molly and Elliot to write what they would like everyone to know about their future spouses. And here are a few things from Elliot regarding Molly. Molly is humble and honest. Someone smarter than me said that you can judge someone by how they treat others less fortunate than them. By this standard, Molly is a saint. She treats everyone equally and respectfully, the homeless, service people, with no judgment or disdain. I also love that in addition to being a good person, Molly wants to leave the world better than she inherited it. Lastly, I would like everyone here to know how solid, loyal, and trustworthy Molly is. She always follows through on everything. Her word really means something. Molly wrote about Elliot. On her first date, aside from him not stopping talking the entire time, <laughs> except to kiss me at the end of the day, what I remember is that he spent a large portion of the day talking about his family and how much they meant to him. If he loved his family so much, and man, he would respect how much I love mine. And Elliot listens to my frustrations and then quickly tries to do what he can alleviate to alleviate them. I never have to reach far from Elliot's hand. He loves holding hands, but he is also, rep it is also representative how he is always there for me. I didn't know what it was. No, it's, it's so it? good, so perfect. I, I love it. It's so good. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's so perfect, honey. Did you like my letter? Did you like my letter? I saw it. I I thought I was the first person to think of this, but I've heard it twice already today. When you get to know Elliot, which is a true privilege, he introduces himself through all of you, all of the, all of his connections and family, and it's, um, I mean, it's remarkable. But it's just beautiful. I mean, I've never really had experience where you put all of your relationships, your uncles, your um, father, mother, cousins, Fletcher people first. I mean, you basically present them and then you kind of follow behind and everyone is held, everyone's number one. You know, it's not like, there's no, it's just beautiful. Yeah, she's number one. Yeah, now she's number one. So that is truly a unique, um, just a wonderful quality and a testament to all of you wonderful, brilliant people. So the, the, I don't know how we all get here or why we're here and I'm extremely grateful and um, I did come up with a, a theory I'll call it the journey in quotes 
And it's something between blind luck and destiny. There's some movement through life. There's a, there's a, there's a core. experience the journey is just it, it evolves and every it's unexpected sometimes it's a little bit of work but it gets better and it, you get better as a spouse a father uh, making some strides there and just as an individual and as you get better your friends and people around you tend to benefit from that so sometimes you'll feel like you're already pretty evolved and Molly you're pretty accomplished Elliot obviously you guys are remarkable and sometimes you would just like to just ask for the check, and you know, a lot of people do. They, they, they reach a certain goal in life, and, and they want to stop. But um, the bad news is that uh, the journey never listens. And the good news is that it's relentless. So to Molly and Elliot, may your journey be your own, epic and grounded in honesty, love, laughter, and friendship. All my best. Molly, Elliot is one of the most caring, loyal, and life-threateningly accident-prone people that I know. Always try to appreciate his humor, hubris, kindness, and lust for life. I'm glad he's found someone who can love him for who he is, and for God's sake, don't let him use the Sentoku knife without supervision. Elliot, I'm sure you'll make a loving husband, playful partner, and stalwart advocate. Share with Molly the same fervent friendship and authenticity that has made you so important in my life. It's an honor to call you my best friend, and I couldn't be happier for you both tonight. I just wanted to uh, make a quick toast to the happy bride and groom and say that I love you guys very, very much. And I'm very happy for you. And that is all I've got.